In the last tutorial, we finished pinning our um, materials, and I do want to point out that the back material here is having some issues, and you might have some, the same sort of issue. If we take a look at this material, you'll see that I've actually had to move my pins quite a, f a distance away from the original. And you can see this dotted line that appears. That dotted line that you see here is actually the um, tiling material, and I've had to move those um, those pins away from the actual corners in order to get this material to fit there correctly. You can kind of see that material. I can move it around right now. So if I if I put it actually in the corners, you'll see it doesn't show the material the exact right size. So anyway, you might have to adjust that yourself. I'm going to go on, and in this tutorial, what we're going to do is start the modeling process. So I'm going to go to the front of the building and I'm going to right click and go to the texture and I want to make sure that this is a projected texture that's going to be a really important part of this process the next thing we're going to do kind of zoom up get close to your model and you could go ahead and change this maybe to just the front view so maybe camera let's see standard views front and the nice thing about going with the front view if I get to that front view in fact, I can even go to the Tools, Windows, where's the Views? Ah, there it is. Now if I do that, I can quickly go to the different sides. And the front is nice because it's nice and flat. Anyway, I'm going to start drawing the elements that I need. So I know that that's going to go across. I know it's going to go across up there. that's going to go across and we might have to adjust elements up and down a little bit obviously that needs to be moved there we go now you'll see that I have um, all of these different windows to deal with so I'm gonna go ahead and create one window kinda get it set properly and you'll notice that my material is not absolutely perfect and that's why it's so important to have really good clean um, photos to begin with. Anyway, I'm going to just try and get this as close as possible to what would be um, just right. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this for the other windows. So I'll double click on it to select all of it, go to the move tool, click on the control key, and then click on the bottom, and then move it over and do the same thing for the other windows. Basically, I have now all my different windows there. For this part, I'm going to go ahead and create my box that is for that front section. I can do an interior one. So you can see we can make this model as extreme as we really want to. And the more that we model with, or the more model that we add to this the more interest we get with our file which is kind of fun now this is kind of an interesting detail right here you can see this kind of part that comes up so we might want to actually add that to it as well so let's see what I can do to kind of add that here not worrying about whether or not it's absolutely perfect because it's about close enough alright then we might want to go ahead and delete the sections we don't want might be a little bit hard to see everything here but I'm making it out so I can extrude out that part 
separately, which is kind of nice. And then, of course, anything else that you want to add to your model is going to be smart. Now, you can continue with this across your entire object. In fact, you know, you might even want to consider these little pieces for right now, but I'm going to skip those for right this second. Actually, I should point out probably these right here. Those look like they could be cut. They look like they're inset for sure. that might be the same up here as well. So it looks like I'm almost done there, this front facade. Now all I have to do is use the push-pull tool and, whoops, I'm going to, let's see, that will go down there and that will come down to there. So that way I can kind of extrude that out just a little bit more than the others. Now all we have to do is use the push-pull tool and start to model with this stuff. That will come out a little bit. Maybe that will come out. That'll come out a little bit more. Maybe this will be inset. That will be inset to the same distance. This will come out. That will come out. Our windows will be inset. same inset there. This could kind of come in just a little bit, maybe about halfway. Whoops. I think I took those a little bit off. There we go. I'm trying to get it to snap to the faces. It takes a little bit of time. But here you can see we have created um, some basic models. Now there are some things that we might want to fix. Like you'll notice, I really don't want to inset this little part just as a box. I'd actually like it to be more of a um, an angle there. So I'm going to take the regular pen tool, or black arrow tool rather, select all those lines going across, and just use the move tool to bring it up. If I snap it to, in this case, the green axis, that's with the left arrow, then I can hopefully bring that in so now you can see it's actually curved. Or not curved, but it's angled. That way we have a nice angle for the front of that building. And this definitely um, makes our building much more exciting to have um, some three-dimensional um, inset and everything else to it. So I'd like you to, to do the same thing with your building. Add some information to the sides, add some stuff to the top, and of course you can continue to just go around your object. Make sure that you have textures that are projected and that you are continuing the same lines and basically continuing the same style around your entire building so that you get a fully th three-dimensional building. And when you're done, you can go ahead and save your work. In the next tutorial, what we're going to do is just go ahead and do some nicer renders of it.